There's got to be some common ground here to not solve every problem, but diminish the probability that what we've seen in these mass shootings will occur and diminish the probability that our children are at risk in their schools and diminish the probability that um, uh, weapons will be used uh, in um, uh, um, firearms will be used in um, uh, dealing with um, the aberrant behavior uh, that takes place in our society. So that's what this is all about. There is no conclusion that I've reached, and with my colleagues, I'm putting together a series of recommendations for the president that will uh, that he will uh, take a look at. Uh, there's a real, very tight window to do this. I committed to him. I'd have these recommendations to him by Tuesday, um, and um, it doesn't mean it's the end of the discussion. But the public wants us to act. I'll conclude by saying. In all my years involved in these issues, um, there is nothing that has pricked the conscious, consciousness of the American people. There is nothing that has gone to the heart of the matter more than the visual image people have of little six-year-old kids riddled, not shot with a stray bullet, riddled, riddled with bullet holes in their classroom. Um, and the public demands we speak to it. I'm not sure that we can guarantee this will never happen again. But as the President said, even if what we do only saves one life, it makes sense. And I think we can do a great deal without in any way um, imposing on or impinging on the rights of the Second Amendment that the Second Amendment guarantees.